All right, what's going on everybody? So in this video, I'm going to show you what I've got changed from the most recent video on my gameplay settings. Now, it's a really minor change. It's all it's going to be is turning off the putt read and turning on the zoom. So as you can see here, zoom is on, putt read is off. Now, the reason I've done this is because I want to be able to read the greens, right? And I don't really feel like there's much of a skill set that I'm learning with just, you know, doing the putt read. Um, obviously, yeah, it's telling me what to do and everything. And that's because I didn't think I could read the greens. But, you know, I was thinking, it's like, maybe the, the zoom camera applies to putting and chipping as well. And sure enough, it does. So it's a great thing. And let's go ahead and play this hole real quick. And then I'll show you on the greens how I'm going about this. So overall, thanks guys for the last video interaction. You guys have been awesome um, in getting into some good discussions. I think uh, a lot of it is valuable. And I like that everybody's input, you know, is, is kind of what they prefer to play with, um, their preferences about the game. And also helping me out understand some of the things that I probably overlooked in kind of my initial video. Just, you know, like that's pretty raw. Like I didn't really know too much. And so it's great that I'm learning just from the community side. Um, posting this video on Reddit um, has definitely opened it up to for some other guys to take a look at my content. Um, so that's kind of cool. And I appreciate that very much. So, so here we're a little close. I'm going to go ahead and just flub this chip um, just so... Um, I'll have a chance to putt it, right? So I'm going to move it over here. I'm going to hit like a very basic, just get on the green type of shot. So we can, so I can show you what I mean about the putting. So first off, um, press triangle to zoom. That's the first thing it does. Now mine by default goes to the highest level. Just press R3. I'm on a, the PS5. And then R3 again. And now we're at the lowest level. And then I like to pan back. And I like to read from here and just use basically my gut instinct. So, you know, I've been playing no grids for a while with, um, you know, running the True Sim Tour um, on 2K21. So, and 2K23 and, and all of the ones before that. So, I'm used to seeing undulations and whatnot. And of course, being a real golfer, <laughs> real golfer, a, a golfer in real life, you can kind of read the greens. Um, but, you know, this is a nice setup because now, look, I can pan around, I can zoom in, you know, by moving the right analog, I can go back and forth, and I can see what kind of undulations we're working with. Some of you guys may have even seen it on the initial chip, what it's going to do. And from here, you can kind of confirm it further. Yeah, it's definitely right to left. If you want to use the grid at the bottom right, it shows it goes uphill a little. And we can go over here. And if you really want to get technical, you can go to the side and be like, okay, if I were to putt from this perspective right here, what would it do? To me, it looks like it would go left to right uphill. So that tells me there's a shelf a little bit up here. So, um, But either way, yeah, my gut tells me right to left slightly uphill. So that's what we're going to go with. So from here, just press circle to get out of it. Um, I even like to press the reset. Uh, in terms of the putting meter... This is kind of my biggest, um, I think this is more personal and it's not something I'm going to recommend because it's all feel from here, but I do recommend, you know, feeling it out like where you want it to go. Because if you don't, if you like want to hit it, let's say 25 feet, so, you know, a couple feet past the hole, but you refuse to move the putting meter, you know, to that level and you want to put it like right here. Well, your max level that you have to putt, see, is only so far. It, the game doesn't let you animate there. So, you know, you have to basically just do, you know, l allow it to do what it needs to do. So if I know I need to get this up, I'm going to give as much room as possible that I can. I see how the meter increases and decreases as I go through. So if I'm at 30 feet, which is, you know, just pretty comfortable there. So I know at least if I go full, it's going all the way back and I know it's going to get there. So the second part of this is obviously the line that I'm going to take and I think it's going to turn quite a bit I'm going to prepare for that um, but I really and the big thing that's helped me putting and we'll see how I do on this one is 
I try not to look at the putting meter and it's really hard, but I try to look at that putter head and feel what it looks like. So I will pull this back a couple of times and see if I can kind of feel what that's going to look like. And then just like in real life, I'm looking at the ball and not my destination of where I want to roll the ball over. Um, so I can feel what that putt's going to be. And so I can get that power, right? So I think this is uphill, slightly uphill. Um, so I'm just going to aim for this point right here and assume it's going to start breaking at that point, but I'm just going to give myself enough room to make that, uh, turnover. So we're going to aim for that. Just going to feel that in the putter head and then we'll go. So I'm just feeling it. And now we're going to go and it should turn. Okay. We gave it a little bit, but honestly, for no grids, you know, and, and, not having any kind of indicator to the level we did before, especially with the putt read on, I will take that. And I do the same thing here is I just try to make sure the putter head has, like gets away from the ball enough room that it comes back down on it solid. And that's a nice par. Oh, that was bogey. Sorry, we, we flubbed the chip on purpose, right? Okay, so let's play one more hole. Um, see if we can do this the right way without flubbing the chip, making an artificial score there. This is a bit of a longer par three, 216. What do we have in our hand? 216. Let's see. Let's get out of that and see what else there is. Yeah, so I think that's going to be the number. We're going to move this a little bit to the right. Hopefully it'll come back. Pulled it a tad, so that's going to be an interesting shot hopefully it has enough room nope we hit it 203 i think it's rolling yep and so we're i think we're almost yeah we're about pin high so not the worst so let's try to get a good chip out here which is a blast 15 yards just passed roll out for me not the best out there so let's see if we can make it sandy and of course you know after you you hit you can move the left analog move around and pan around before it switches back to the cutscene of your player so so same thing here zoom camera and i like to pan back okay and one thing i want to i forgot to mention is if you go if your putt is more than or yeah more than above 35 feet and you zoom in and you pan back with your right see it doesn't get all the way back to the ball so i think that's your limit right there so Usually, you know, you'll just want to move it around your indicator there to determine like how far you can go back. So since this is inside 20 feet, it's going to be pretty straightforward with being able to analyze. So from here, my gut feeling, I mean, it looks pretty straight. Um, and that's kind of the toughest type of putts to read, the straight ones. So I need more information. I'm going to come up a little closer. I'm going to go to the side. Okay, so I know it's uphill. If I were to putt from right here, it would look like it would go right to left. So that tells me it's possibly a left to right putt overall. Let's just look from the back. So from back of the hole, this is usually a, a good indicator too. This is where I wish I had the worm cam and I could get really low. So for that, I try to drop back a little bit more. But again, this thing with, with these indicators are kind of big and it's kind of hard to see past. So let's try to go from here, see if we get a like a lucky little spot that can tell us what it would do. Um, and this is kind of where I wouldn't, I don't know if it's skill, but this is where kind of your green reading logic and everything would come into play. And, and this is kind of what makes it really interesting and fun actually. So for me, you know, my gut tells me it's straight. My gut tells me it's straight and I'm going to go with that. Even if I'm wrong, at least I'm going to be committed to my line. So I think it's fairly straight. It might turn over to the right. It could even go right to left, but that's okay. We're just going to hit this firm. The main thing here is speed. So even if I miss it, at least I set my putt up um, for success in the next one. So again, feel that putter head go. I'm only looking at that putter head and where I'm going to let that ball roll over and then feel what that looks like to get over there. So for me, I'm feeling like it's gonna roll over this with some pace. Um, so that's what I'm going for. I'm just staring at that right there. 
I'm getting that feel for it. So we're ready to go. Okay. So we did misread that. That was pretty much left to right. Um, th that's the toughest part. You go with your gut, but, you know, and those are things I'm going to learn about as I kind of get used to putting this way. But honestly, I'm okay with that. Like, uh, the putt speed was good. It was just a matter of, you know, green reading. And that's the whole point. And that's the purpose of this video. I'm not going to be an expert. I don't mean to show that I'm an expert. I just really wanted to show what I'm actually, what I'm actually using um, and what I'm going to use going forward. Because I don't think there's really many other changes that are needed after this. So the gameplay settings are pretty much final. I'm very happy with this setup. It's something I've been working on and practicing a lot. Especially in making this video, I thought like, okay, I'll definitely be able to kind of just show what I'm working with here. And I was really struggling with some of my putts. And that was before the real thing that I took away from everything was the green reading comes up to a point, but then you still have to execute your putt. And that's where I was failing. So like once I started focusing as well on the putter head and that feeling of what's gonna where the ball's gonna roll over, and then feeling that putter head and, and staring, you know, at that putter head, um, either you know, in, in kind of in the background or whatever, and kind of just feeling it move and get that feel going, right? And that's kind of how it becomes a feel game rather than so technical. Um, and you know, overall, that was you know that was what really defined um, some improvement for me. So I'm very happy with how the game's going right now. I'm having an absolute blast as I've been. I hope you guys have too. I'd love to hear your thoughts um, on what you think about this approach. I think some of you ultra sim guys would appreciate this setup a little bit more. Um, of course, you've got to put the house rule of yourself. I mean, if you want to play with the zoom cam here and kind of see where you're going to land, it's up to you. I personally won't use that in real life. There's no way I could actually zoom to that point. I'm going to use the, the overhead camera. Um, as you know, it's just kind of my own house rule, right? The nice thing about having a game that not completely based on online for me after running the true sim tour, um, I don't have to worry <laughs> about, you know, a couple hundred other people, um, and, and that they agree with the settings that I choose. So I know this is just for me and this is for my career mode. Um, maybe if you want to start your career mode or enjoy your career mode more, you can follow these settings but love to hear your guys' thoughts thanks for checking out the video i appreciate the interaction on the previous video hopefully um, we can get into some good discussions going forward if you haven't already make sure to like the video comment and subscribe and as always take care and stay tuned